right, here we are on the trail to the fossil hunt, a stream area where we can find some fossils. Fossil hunt trail, and as you can see, it's just level. No big uphill climb, and we're not far at all. Uh, we're approaching the uh, main bridge that crosses the uh, creek. This creek is usually pretty, uh, pretty swift in its flow. It's pretty low. It's very, very well below what it should be. Uh, here we are crossing the bridge, but as you can see, the creek is a lot lower than it should be for this time of year, or any time of year really. But that should make it easier to find fossils. You can uh, look just about anywhere, but uh, you can dig around if you want, I guess, into some of these moguls hills little stretched areas but the easiest the easiest place to find them is along the, the creek bed let's go up to the creek bed here and uh, and take a look at some of the some of the rock rocks we can find around here and uh, see if we can find anything it shouldn't be too hard Plenty of rock. This is this creek area is usually pretty wet. I mean, there's usually a, a flow of water here, so we got pretty lucky today. There's some rock area in there we can check out. Let's check it out. Yeah, here's a little pool here. We're working our way around, but uh, it's a lot of flat country here with a lot of Little places, little little uh, crop outcrops of of uh, rocks and uh, puddles and pools. So uh, could get yourself a little difficult in wandering around and forgetting exactly what your location is. So uh, it's good to have somebody around to uh, keep you keep you from wandering in places you don't need to be wandering off into. I don't know. The best way to do it is pick along the stream. See if you can find something that washed down or came out of the banks. Uh, some of these banks actually get kind of high as they cut into them. The, this creek or stream will bring out some of the rocks that are there. And if we could find a seam where there's some fossils, we'll be able to pick up a sample without having to go through much of the heavy trouble of trying to uh, pry them out somewhere. That's the area we just left. Now, as you can see, there's flats and and uh, dry tributaries and pieces of branches that come off the main main stream, main creek around here. And uh, you just got to keep looking around. You might get yourself a nice little piece that you want to put on your on your mantle plate at home. Here's one that I just passed right by almost. It doesn't look like much right now, but uh, if you clean this one up, it has tons and loads of fossils in there. I think we'll keep this one. Just clean it up and uh, make a great little piece for your mantle. Ah. It's a beautiful day out here. Mushrooms, fungus. Hey, uh, how you doing over there? Yeah, just keep on going over that way. How's it going today? Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Nice uh, fall day. Yeah, here's here's the stream, and uh, just on this side, there's a little trickle of it. Versus down this way, there's a nice little rock field in here. You can check out. Let's see what we can find. Tributary Creek and the main creek. Beautiful rock formations. And that side looks a little bit stiff to go start climbing up though. Well, and here's a specimen. Uh, it's got a pretty nice fossil in here. 
but uh, the rest of it's kind of worn. I might should be able to find some better, better specimens. This other one seems to be uh, have the same problem. It's been in the creek for quite a long while. I mean, it's got it's got something there, but. Some uh, rock formations on the other side. Yeah. Close, but there might be something in there, but we're not going to go searching in there. Right along the stream will do. It's a great day. Go for searching for some fossils.